Now, where were you on August the 6th, 1945, when they dropped the bomb? Well, I was in the bomb shelter because it was hot that day and we didn't, didn't feel like working. Mm -hmm. You know, we were only 16 and 17, and they were making us carry those heavy uh, bags of, I guess it was rice or, uh, to load on these old uh, horse buggies so they could take it down to uh, the, the port in, in uh, Hiroshima. And, you know, when you're about that age, you don't feel like working anyway. So we decided to go into a bomb shelter and, and eat what little bento that we had. Oh, okay, so there wasn't any uh, warning to go into the bomb shelter, you just decided to No, no, it was just one B-29 coming over, so it was no big deal. And uh, how far from uh, Ground Zero were you? I think I was about two miles away from it. Mm -hmm. So I was in a safe zone. Okay. What do you recall hearing or seeing during the time that the bomb was dropped? Only thing I could remember is when we were in the bomb shelter was just a very bright light that came through. In my assumption at that time, I thought one of the transformers blew up mm -hmm. because we were close to a transformer. And uh, once you guys, when that happened, did you guys leave the bomb shelter? Well, chicken me, I told the other guy, go out and see what happened. <laughs> 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 and then he comes out and he says, Oi, Jin-san, minna shintoru do he? Well, they were dead, they were just kind of burnt a little bit. Oh, wow. They were kind of stumped. Uh -huh. What the countryside looked like? Well, then, right after that, we went out, we went to this riverbank, and Hiroshima being a city built on a delta, it's flat, and we could see all the way across the city. Before that, we couldn't see anything because there were buildings, and, mm -hmm. uh, and then we hear all this moaning and groaning, and these people walking around with their skin hanging clear. <laughs> so I decided, hell, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> How about your family? How did they survive? Uh, my mother was on the streetcar that day. She was close to where I work. And she was on the opposite side, but the bomb fell here. This, and she was on this side, so she just got knocked off. No damage. How far from the epicenter was she? Oh, about a mile and a half. Is that right? And then by your father and parent, grandparents? Well, my father, since he was uh, able to drive a motorcycle, he was assigned to be a, a courier for the, I guess it was for the Japanese army. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to carry these documents from one office to another. And the main office was right in the center where the bomb fell. So there was nothing left that I could uh, well, there was no humans. They were all burnt to death. So he was, he was killed? Huh? Well, it was 2,000 yeah. degrees. And just yeah. Never did find his body? Never found his body. We saw some bones here and there, but mm -hmm. didn't know who's who. Did you understand it was the atomic bomb that uh, dropped? No, we had what did no you idea. think happened? Huh? What did you think happened that day? Well, we just kind of guessed that it was a new bomb that the Americans are using. Mm -hmm. And that's about furthest they got until the government started to make news about its uh, atomic bomb. At that time, we had no idea what atomic was. So the uh, the government did announce that there was atomic bomb and it, dropped. Yeah, it was uh, a nuclear bomb, or they used to call it the Genshi Bakran, it's which is nuclear. Did and, they uh, did they mention how many people had died or anything like that? No. It's, well, they said that the whole city of Hiroshima is, is flattened out. Now, you mentioned you saw a single, did you see the single B-29 bomber come across that day? Yeah, it was circling around. Oh, really? I thought it was just taking pictures like they usually do. Mm -hmm. So, you, you think nothing of it. Uh -huh. Only time you used to run is when those P-51s used to come in, escorting the bombers. And then they used to come down and 
<laughs> you really shoot the hell out of them. <laughs> you know, 50 calibers. Uh -huh. So did you get any a prior warning to the bomb? No, there no prior warning. We were getting bombed every night anyway, but B-29, mm -hmm. one city after another. Mm -hmm. Did you have to move to get away from the bombing? Huh? Did you have to move to get away from the bombing? Well, they never did bomb Hiroshima. Oh, I see. Uh, Hiroshima was left alone. Mm -hmm. and Within the first few days, you, what happened after the first couple of days? Did you go over the city, look around? or? Yeah, I went. My mother and I went to Hiroshima every day to look for my father. And uh, we never did find him. I mean, it was. It was quite horrifying to see so many people dead and still moving. You know, half-roasted humans. In the river, there's humans floating down the river, just like we, you, you boil wieners at home, floating. The tide comes in and they come up the river. The tide goes out, they drift out, and thousands of them. This is how many days after the bomb? Well, this lasted about a week after the bomb. They couldn't scoop all those people out of there. Mm -hmm. Well, most of them were dead anyway. Mm -hmm. their, you know, their body is swollen. Uh, they couldn't be recognized. How about your family home? Was that destroyed? Well, the family home was way in the country there, oh. the farm, so we, there was no effect there. So your par grandparents were okay? Yeah. Okay. So even after the bomb, is the surrounding cities kind of went back to normal living conditions? No, not for the longest time. Is that right? People had that funny idea that uh, you know the dead is going to come out from the grave. Japanese got a funny uh, funny psychology about the dead. Uh, at night time, we used to be able to see those. What do you call those little balls of fire? Uh, it, due to your uh, body contamination and it, it kind of ignites as a ball. We used to see it all over the, uh, the Hiroshima city. Even it's kind of eerie. From the dead bodies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So after the uh, bombing, how did you live? I mean, you obviously didn't go back to normal. Did you have food to eat and things like that? Well, food was very scarce, but being a farmer and my mother running a beauty shop, uh, we were lucky to have what you call a cash flow and uh, a farm that could, we were able to uh, get enough for ourselves to eat. So even during the war, they, uh, the ladies did go to the beauty shops to have their hair done and stuff like that? How was that? No, the even during the war, uh, the ladies would go to beauty shops to have their hair uh, cut and uh, permanents and things like that? Yeah. Uh, I guess in those days it was quite a fashionable thing to get a permanent, keep your hair a little curly. Mm -hmm. uh, especially with a female population, it was one of the in things. Mm -hmm. So the beauty shop did very well. Is there anything you would like to um, mention to uh, future generations concerning the uh, atomic bomb? Well, if you hear the atomic bomb or the nuclear bomb, try to stay away from it. You're not going to make it. And what's your feeling about uh, the use of atomic bombs in the future? Well, I sure don't like it. Uh, the way they're tossing it up and down, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, it kind of kind of gives me the shakes. And, and I would have went through the smallest bomb. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through it again. Anything else you'd like to add to this interview? No, but it's pretty sad when you see a mother and their child. They used to carry all their kids on the back, and the heat is so strong, the child is burnt and stuck to the mother's back. And it, you see, you know, Hundreds of those people walking down the street, just. So do you have nightmares occasionally? Uh, not yeah. anymore. I. You used to. I got over it. No. But every time I see a car accident, I, 
I turn the other way. Yeah. I mean, it just comes back to you real quick. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Gene. That was very okay. good interview. Can I go home now? <laughs> <laughs>